I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble either, <laughs> but I don't know what to do. Are you freaking kidding me? This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. How you doing? How you doing there, Chloe? If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. I already did. Oh, Sorry. Bullshit. Fuck you, door. F-bomb. <laughs> Welcome to my domain. <laughs> you are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. I the blew up the door and then I rewind it while I was in here. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Lovely. Just make sure to turn How can you trust there. somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? <laughs> I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. <laughs> I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Make sure to put it all in the way it was. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Yes, leave plenty of incriminating evidence, ma'am. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. You mean I'm on dirt? the case. Alright, um, first. Can I take that picture? You're not so tacky up close. Oh. Whoa, foreign. So, did you blow the lock on a bomber? Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. <laughs> that is What's so this? cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Hold on. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of the new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in this school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voice heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Sweet! That means anybody can be, uh... Look at this pile. Yeah, we looked at that pile, alright. Tumbleweeds. Woohoo! We're looking through everything. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Wow. Whoa. GPA 3.7. Impressive. With all your partying. Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at... Blackwell Academy with stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Acadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representative of Blackwell. Like I'm cool. not going to read my own personal file. Cool. Oh, wow. Our GPA sucks. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential in photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading my own file. You don't always like what you hear or read for this example. Some faculty members would, uh, like... To, like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this common student suggestion rather than specific recommendations. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow stu student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty 
investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This sure. trial is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Uh, 3.9, nice. Uh, Victoria Chase is the gold standard of Blackwell Academy, a student with consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Mr. Jefferson. And that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell's spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Wow. GPA 4.0. Good job, Warren. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is... This is not confirmed by science teacher Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Cool. Only two more files to go. Two more files? I have to look for two more files. Whoa, what Rachel is this? Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Whoa. Uh... Rachel Dawn Am Amber. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and the Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in inter international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. This is Lieutenant Chris Crossy. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. Wow. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, her GPA is even worse than mine. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti on the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. <laughs> Whew. Need some water after all that. Whew. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and suspension, I feel that my large contributor sh should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss March gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come with the same obvious conclusion. Wow. Alright, let's see. Anything? Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. Um, that might be the last. That's Kate's file. So I'll look at that last. I need to see. You're not so tacky up close. It kind of looks like the bird that I take the picture of, but for some reason. Wowzer. This will so not come in handy. 
Wine bottle. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Search and that. Nothing here. Yep. Alright. So off on to Kate's. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Oh yeah. Ooh, her GPA is good. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her op optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged by K-Bay 7 News and our diverse religious study groups group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendant records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. At present time, there is security investigation into the controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh as, at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Um, we just take everything? I mean, that, that's not, that's not good. Aren't they gonna notice if it's missing? <laughs> Max, Seek. you better come check out these files. Oh, Nathan God. accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. Are you sure David about that? is teaming up with Nathan Prescott? That's a bad sign. Uh, Nathan yeah. Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. <laughs> and you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. Oh gosh. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over what? and over. That's it. That's fucked up. F -bomb. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. Maybe. I know he has something he to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it <laughs> sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. Uh, nice. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. What? No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers <laughs> include mind reading? No. Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Money. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. We can't. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money. You I'm really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... <sighs> I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. Well, let's leave it how it was.